Hello, my name is Chase Murphy, a senior ConnectWise consultant here at Prevel Tech, and today I'm going to show you an easy way to clean up old ConnectWise control access sessions from your ConnectWise control web portal. Uh, we often receive requests from our partners to clean up access sessions that have been orphaned by retired agents. Unfortunately, removing a machine from ConnectWise Automate does not clear the machine from the ConnectWise portal. Today, I will show you how to create an a session group in control, apply a filter to look for guests that have not contacted the control server in 90 days, and we'll show you how to quickly clean them out. This process is important for two reasons. One, it helps reduce bad data on the control list by keeping the database clean, and two, if your ConnectWise control portal should be breached, this will lower the available machines that bad actors may have access to or may be able to scam information from. Uh, so the first step here is to log into control and then make sure that you're on the access sessions in the left side of the screen. Um, towards the bottom of the list, you'll see the create session group box. Click on that and that'll pull you up into the create session group dialog box which will look like this. I'm gonna go ahead and jump over to mine over here so I can show you what I've done before. Uh, the next step is to name the session group. In our example here, I just called it 90 days no check-in example. Feel free to call it whatever makes the most sense to you. And then we'll need to work on the session filter. Uh, there's a lot of available variables and attributes that you can use. Uh, in this case, we're gonna be using the guest info update time. This shows the last time that control received an update from that machine. Um, and now we need to find a way to compare that to data. So what we can do here is use the operator less than, meaning older than, and then the dollar sign 90 days ago variable. Uh, this number here could be adjusted to whatever number you need it to be. In this case, we're doing 90 days. So we're saying if the update session has not contacted a control in 90 days. And then once you're all set up with this and you have this string saved in your uh, session filter, please hit save. When you save it, it should take you directly back to your session group. If not, please navigate back to it. And then you'll be able to view the list here of all the machines that have not contacted the control server during that uh, 90 day timeframe. Um, to verify that, you'll need to check this side of the screen and make sure that this bar here is not green. If it's not green, that means it has not contacted the environment within that 90 days. You'll also be able to see the idle times listed right here for all of these machines. To get rid of all of the machines, once you've reviewed the data and ensured that it's clean, you can use this box up here in the middle of the pane, mark it, and go to check all. That's gonna highlight all of the available sessions. And then to remove them, you can either use the more button on the top up here and end, which will create this dialog box asking you to end all of them. Or you can use the end button over on the right side that should pop up um, on your right side pane here. And then as far as the options goes, they'll give you three. There's uninstall and end, end only and uninstall only. In this case, since these machines are not going to be checking in again, ideally, we're just going to use the end only button. When you hit, uh, after you've selected this radio button, mark the perform action down here. That's gonna give you a warning, letting you know that you cannot undo this. So please be careful with your data and then hit the confirm button once you believe you're all good to go. That will remove every session out of this list. Once you've created the group and the list and ended all the sessions, then your administrator, whoever keeps control of your uh, automator control environments, should be able to come in here and replicate these steps at any time that they want to get in here and clean things up. Uh, so today we discussed creating the session group, getting all the variables to create the session group and populate it with the proper data and how to clean out all of these old machines out of your control database. Thank you.